What's up guys, today at Lifestyle, we're gonna do a modification to my Jeep that I should have done years ago. If you've ever built a full-time off-road rig, then I'm sure you can relate to this. I have a tendency to take care of the more difficult projects first, and then the easy stuff, the low-hanging fruit, for whatever reason, I push off forever until it has to be done. This is definitely the case with the body mounts. I should have done these 10 years ago. I should have done these a really long time ago, and they are super janked up on this TJ, but now the time has come. I'm ready to make this upgrade and not get hung up on these anymore. I am embarrassed at the condition of these body mounts. This is unacceptable to have body mounts that look like that. That's not just one rock, Nate. <laughs> That is years and years and years of rocks. These body mounts needed to be replaced before I even did my diesel swap. So that, sh that tells you where my list of priorities are. Instead of doing a, uh, you know, a, a couple hour job, I went ahead and swapped diesel engine into a TJ. So our solution is from Swag Off-Road. They make this really nice upgraded body mount kit. And um, I love it for a couple of reasons and I'll, I'll tell you why right now. This tapered design is gonna allow it to slide over obstacles much easier. Its box design is gonna make it super strong and durable, not to mention the fact that it's made out of 3 16 instead of that factory like eighth inch or whatever the factory body mount is. But I like to see when engineers R&D little weep holes like this. It's so important to me to have a spot where dirt and debris and stuff can flow out of a bracket. I think that this is a really nice touch and it's a really good indication that there was a lot of thought and a lot of development that went into these body mounts. The majority of the weight of the Jeep is being suspended in the air by these center six body mounts. So I don't feel comfortable just cutting them all off and hoping that the tub doesn't sag onto the frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the center body mount on each side first. I'm gonna weld in these new heavy duty body mounts and then I can proceed with the outside four. Let's see if I can straighten this bad boy out. Not bad, totally worked. Now that I have this first bracket in place, I have a strategy of how to put these on. So what I did is I bolted the top plate onto the chassis first, and then I went ahead and I tacked this lower bracket on. And the reason for that is that there's always slight variances from the factory between vehicles, and it would be real easy to, I just say, let's say I set this up here like this, I weld it up on the table, and then I go down there to fit it, and now I have a fitment problem because it could be slightly this way or it could be slightly that way. And those are things that you can, you can make fit perfect on your application if you use the right process. So you bolt this up first and then you slide this bracket tight to the frame and now whenever you tack it up, you know that it's in the perfect orientation. So then you just unbolt it, bring it up here, finish weld it, and then you can move on.
last two brackets. I set them over here to let them cool, let the shop door be open, and uh, apparently a rainstorm came while I was eating dinner. So now I get to work in Waterworld. It's just that easy. The job is done. I think that these are going to hold up way better. I just gained a whole bunch of clearance, which makes me very happy. And they should slide over obstacles much better than um, what they did before. So if you're someone who is into paint, having a nice clean finished look, I would recommend painting them ahead of time. You can get sandable, or sorry, weldable paint and primer. I'd probably do something like that and then weld it on and then just go over it with like a final coat where it connects to the frame. But um, I am not a paint guy anymore. I have spent so many, I've lost many, many weeks worth of painting pretty parts on this Jeep and then uh, rubbing all that paint off and making it look like crap in the woods within a couple of months. So I'm just gonna put a couple coats of semi-gloss black on these and call them good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Normally I like to build stuff like this instead of just install stuff like this, but the amount of time that it would take me to build those brackets and install them is not worth the amount of time that I could save with just getting a set and installing them. These went in super smooth, super easy. I'm very happy with the finished product. And in fact, tomorrow, so I need to start painting like right now. Tomorrow I'm gonna be loading this on a trailer, taking it up to a whole lot of big rocks and probably testing these out pretty good. So there'll be a bunch of new battle wounds on them within 24 hours, I'm sure. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you wanna help support the channel, you can go to thedirtlifestyle.com. We have t-shirts, hats, neck gaiters, stickers, all kinds of stuff, and a link to our Patreon account. If you wanna follow me on social media, I'm at Dirt Lifestyle Nate. We'll see you next time.